video I'm going to show you how to start a digital twin simulation from a palletizing pattern. So here I am still on working on my example customer and I have created a pattern. When creating that pattern I also created a product. To create a simulation that's two ways to go. I'm going to show you the fastest one first in this video and in a second video I'm going to show the more advanced ones which has more powerful functionality. But first I will go in and see my pattern. So on the list of my patterns here, which I created in a previous video, there's a button here I can click simulate. So by clicking simulate here, I've been given the option to say, okay, verify this is the right pattern. And now I can use my pre-configured robot configurations to start the digital twin simulations. So here I have set up a robot configuration, which is consisting of you see, the, the hardware, which is with the easy, new easy palletizer frame, with the PI CPT 500 foam gripper, and also some standard conveyor, and also with the lift column from Evelix with a 700 millimeter stroke. There are some software settings. I'm using here the latest polyscope version from UR and the latest Pali version available. So I'm going to choose this configuration and say I want to simulate with this. So all I do is choose it and click next. I verify that these are the right configurations. And then I click run. And now I can say I'm going to demo simulation and make a simulation. So what is happening now is that we have sent this simulation to the cloud. So this simulation is now standing on queued. Uh, this status will change. Uh, the robot will need to start up before starting palletizing. The complete simulation will take the same time it takes to palletize in real time, because that's actually what's happening on the cloud. It will palletize with the same robot, same movements the robot would do <coughs> in real life. So now we see status was changing to setting up. So now we're setting up the environment. It will change to starting up, and then it will change to palletizing. And then the progress bar will start spinning. Once that progress bar reaches 100%, you can go and click view report. And that's what I'm going to do. I have set up um, a different customer with a, a simulations already been done. So now to navigate to the other customer to show you how the simulation report looks like when it's done, I simply go to the customer for navigation. I switch organization and here you will see a list of all the different customers. So I know that for the other customer I have, which I call demo customer, I can click on it. And here you see I've already completed a simulation. So here clicking view all, you will see this list where I have a successful simulation that reached hundred percent. I click view report. It is loading and here you will see a simulation with the same hardware setup. So I can click play and speed up a bit. So we'll see the entire palletizing sequence. Also, we will get the metrics from the simulation report, which I will go more in detail to on the next video.